It's time to give me five with Penny Black and today I have five hedgehog snow globes. Hi it's Therese and today I decided to use the Cozy Nights stamp set for all five cards. I love a good snow globe and I'm sure you do too and what I love about them is that they're really versatile so I thought I'd show you five different ways to use this one snow globe that comes in the set and I have added other stamps from other sets in this as well so lots of stamping a bit of coloring and some shaking a little bit later now I started out by stamping the snow globe five times on some 80 pound Nina cardstock because I had no idea where I was going with this and you know when you're kind of thinking about doing something and you just procrastinate so much you probably don't do this this is what I do I procrastinate and instead of actually just getting started and making the cards which is in the end that's what I did I just meant I'm going to stamp them out and I'm going to color and then I'll work it out from there and that actually worked for me I know go figure just start doing it <laughs> instead of thinking about it I decided to do some Copic coloring it is a faster medium for me to work with today and I will list all the colors at the blog and that will be linked in the description below I've used hedgehog images in all of my snow globes today because you know that's what you normally would find in a snow globe <laughs> on this little fella here he was um, from a set called carefree Christmas and I just did not like the way his tummy was looking I was sort of gonna keep his face in the brownie tones and then like a gray sort of shade on his tummy I didn't like it so I did come in with my colorless blender there and remove some of the shading and then it was easy enough just to add the same color that I'd colored his face to the body and I think that looked so much better I added a line at the bottom for this one here just as like a snow drift and I have colored all the backgrounds of these with my Copic markers I was actually thinking about doing some blending so I would have masked and blended the background but I thought I'd give it a go I don't usually like to color such a big area it's very daunting and I had struggle with you know where the colors join but I think it worked really well today I just took my time and did a few layers and I think that's the trick rather than try and rush it just add layers I didn't I did move um, in sections which I think really helped as well and I did all different colors in the backgrounds but I only shared one of the background colorings with you because they're all exactly the same and I find that the Copics mix and move well on the 80 pound Nina if you're using a thicker cardstock they you tend to need more ink because it saturates into the paper now how's this little cutie she's from the skis and skates stamp set I actually use a few of the stamps from this set today and she's one of the newest style hedgehogs you know a little bit more arty still really cute though and she has a tutu <laughs> I don't know how many hedgehogs I've seen that have got tutus but you know this one does and I really liked this little fella he's also from the same stamp set and I did have to mask it's quite a big stamp this one I did have to mask uh, at each side of the snow globe so that you know it wasn't it was too big it would have stamped off the edge and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the stamp so at least I knew that all the image would be within the snow globe I didn't do anything complicated with the coloring today I did keep it fairly simple and magic there's the background <laughs> who would have thought the one of the tricks too with coloring a big background like that is to make sure that your marker is not dry that's very frustrating I've tried that and I think having a, a nicely filled marker does help with the blending of the colors now there's no hedgehog here not yet anyway but this house is also from the cozy nights set and 
is kind of made to fit in this and it has a coordinating cutout die for both the actual snow globe and the house so you could do so much with that and you could would be really nice to do like a 3d kind of even a shaky effect that would be really fun and maybe i'll try that this christmas i've got so many ideas for all the the penny black stamps that have just come out this christmas are awesome and i'm having so much fun with them now i did color all the plaques and the bases of the snow globes the same so i am just going to share one of those i kept it really simple i didn't think about sort of drawing it as wood but i I don't know for some reason it just made more sense for me to have this as a you know a lot of them a bit more clean and simple so the sentiments I've taken from a variety of sets I have sort of split some of them and just selectively stamped them I could have cut them apart but I find the post-it notes sort of work well and did them all in black kept it simple like I said now you do need to check out the set called Thrill of Hope. Those sentiments are wonderful. Oh, and I added a little snowflake here. On all of the snow globes, I did add some white ink spray, splatters, and um, yeah, because I did tap it, I didn't spray it. So it can't be spray. <laughs> and just use the die cut through some copy paper to protect my... Um, cardstock because I still wasn't sure what I was going to do with all of these but I did decide to make a couple of shakers I told you I was going to shake it up and this is uh, probably one of the most clean and simple ones I've added some acetate behind a die cut window and then popping up now this is actually a three millimeter fun foam and I created my own foam tape here by just adding some big creative tape on both sides of it it's a real tricky way to do it and I wanted there to be snow and this is the uh, polar white it's flower soft and I put too much in there I always do this so there you go I got some out <laughs> added that to the front of a side fold four and a quarter by four and a quarter card and added some twine how cool and I love this sentiment happy always that doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmassy card. It could be a winter anything card. Now, this one, I decided to actually use this snow globe on different styles of cards. So both um, square ones and normal sort of, inverted commas, normal cards. And I added some Prisma Glitter snowflakes to the front of this I've just got a pink stripey panel it's just some scrap cardstock I had and then popped up my skiing I thought this sentiment went really well <laughs> hedgehog and added some twine to that one as well and of course I had to make a shaped card so I actually die cut it's 110 pound twice just because the 80 pound Nina was too thin and I didn't want to be able to see the Copic marker through it so I just joined them together after scoring it with some big creative tape and here's my hedgehog he's out of the skis and skates set as well it was actually on the polar bear's head <laughs> so I had to sort of cut that off but how cute is that I thought he went really well with the house so this is another really clean and simple design and this time I just added it directly to the card front a four and a quarter square card and used a Mary from the Mary and Joy in which I die cut and popped up on some foam foam in a nice bold black sentiment and I really like the font for the word Christmas it comes out of the same carefree Christmas stamp set and that's where that little hedge is from so this card I thought it'd be fun to do a landscape orientation with the snow globe and just show you how that works on a, a regular size card and this one's yet another shaker and I've got some black and white uh, stripey cardstock adding some acetate foam foam same as I did the other time and this time I used some really bright fun sequins in this one and then all I had to do was actually attach that to the front of my card I use lots of adhesive because it is a fairly robust P 
piece of kit and I don't want it to fall apart. Here I'm deciding do I want the black and white twine which I really did like, the baker's twine, but the pink shiny glittery one won. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I think it was the glitter. I would have liked, they both, I don't know, what do you reckon? Which one did you think looks better? The pink glittery one or the black and white baker's twine? I just want to say thanks for watching and remember there are lots of ways that you can connect with Penny Black. Don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Penny Black YouTube channel and visit Penny Black on Facebook and Instagram. You can also check out their blog and website. And I've linked to all those in the video description below and also a link to my personal blog where you can find a full list of the exact supplies that I've used. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Give Me Five, Same But Different with Penny Black and I look forward to seeing you here next time. Bye.